joining me now from Rome is Giuseppe Ricci. He is chairman of ENI, one of the country's largest industrial companies. He's also president for the Committee of Foreign Investors in Italy. Mr Ricci, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Um, may I begin by asking you about these bond yields? Uh, are they sustainable at this level? Uh, it's tough to say. I'm a simple uh, energy operator. Uh, so um, uh, what we care about is that uh, the perception of the measures uh, is received by the strength that they're meant for. And uh, uh, we all see that the current spreads uh, are not something that correspond to the fundamental of the country and knowing it from the energy industry, uh, definitely there is a mispricing there. Mm. Now, if we look at the austerity measures that were passed, what are the biggest challenges for the country in terms of getting those austerity measures to work? Um, the measures uh, are meant to um, go after uh, cost savings first, I would say. Um, so it's a measure uh, meant to stop spending. Um, mm -hmm. It's still to come a measure to uh, boost the growth of the country. Um, but that's the first action that should be made. Um, so there is a, a very good uh, a force of the political system to agree on the uh, action needed at this point. So the um, uh, example given uh, by the fast approval by the parliament in uh, four days, uh, it's very promising in terms of uh, um, showing the cohesion of the system to uh, front uh, the uh, actual financial emergency. And uh, what we need is a constant process in this uh, direction uh, such that uh, every stakeholder in the decision uh, keeps focusing on the uh, key issues to uh, take the country out of this uh, negative perception mm. from the financial markets. Uh, what do you think of the role of speculators in the financial markets? Because the fundamentals haven't changed particularly and yet it does seem as if Italy is being hammered at the moment. I think it comes from uh, um, a, a general, um, uh, I would say, perception of the world that is, I mean, the old financial system is very nervous about uh, what's going on. That, uh, we have uh, a problem with the U.S., with the debt ceiling, which is uh, making the market nervous. Greece is uh, uh, the biggest problem, and so Italy uh, has been under the radar screen, uh, even if uh, probably other countries should have been under the radar screen before it. So, uh, as I see that, as, as soon as the American uh, problem will be solved, hopefully uh, very fast, and the Greek problem will be solved by the uh, European uh, uh, ruling. Uh, everything else around will go back under the fundamental analysis rather than uh, bad perception analysis. Let's talk a little bit about growth because Italy has had a problem with growth and very often we've seen in other countries when the austerity measures have kicked in, it's hurt growth even more. Do you think that you've got the right balance that you can try and stimulate growth while also cost cutting? Uh, not yet, I think. Um, uh, what we have, uh, which is good, is a good financial system which has just passed through the uh, bank test uh, with very positive results. Uh, and that's good. We have uh, um, an industrial system which is based on uh, SMEs in general and this company has traditionally been very good in uh, uh, exporting their products uh, uh, in uh, I mean, a situation where uh, they were facilitated by the local system. Now the local mm -hmm. system um, is not facilitating much because it's focusing on uh, big reforms that have to come and uh, all the political forces agree on uh, first which are the problem and second which are the solution. So uh, we have a problem of implementation and execution which I think the financial crisis would uh, really uh, have everybody merging uh, their attention uh, mm. in solving. Now what about foreign investors? With bond deals at this level, with concerns about Italy's viability, are you seeing foreign investors getting nervous? Um, again, the biggest problem of the country is not uh, uh, about uh, what are the potential targets for foreign investors, neither in uh, uh, companies to acquire or business to open. The problem is uh, around the general perception of uh, how easy it is to do business in the country. And, uh, and uh, Italy has not performed well in this uh, sense. Uh, big investors uh, are not scared by the amount of difficulties that they can find. By, they're very scared by the unpredictable
predictability of their difficulties. So um, the Italian uh, regulators need to put in, in, uh, in force uh, such a bunch of rules which are as much as possible benchmarking the European market rules, which are uh, those that uh, where the international investors are more familiar okay. with. Mr. Ricci, thank you very much indeed.